Hey guys, and welcome to a new Mortal Kombat 2 Unlimited video. As you can see, I'm playing with Ermac. Now, it's a little bit um, difficult. I had to do a player one takes no damage kind of deal. Uh, doesn't matter what difficulty you, you play on, it is ridiculous. It is very difficult. But I wanted to see if Ermac has an ending, and you can only do this through the emulator with a code. So. I wanted to give it a shot, and I'm going to film you final two battles to see if Ermac has an ending. So let's get started. Round one. Fight. I'm going to be able to get through Shao Kahn before there's a count out. I think there won't be a problem there. I know that uh, the video I uploaded this game previously with my run through with Jay the first time around I fought Shao, Shao Kahn time run out, which was kind of sucky. I don't want that to happen this time, at least on the final round. Alright, so let's face Shao Kahn and see if there's an ending for Ermac. You know, you get to fight uh, Ermac if you finish the battle below the question mark by using low kick only. So that's how you face him in the game, which I believe I did in my previous video. Then I got to looking if there was a way to play him. Of course, yes, there is with code you can use on the emulator. You will die. I see he did get his own icon. Fight. I can get uh, through round two like that. There we go. 15 seconds left, we just got him. Alright, so let's see if there's an ending for Mac.
All right, so that's pretty weird. Seems like something you possibly could decode. I'm not really for sure that was the message behind that right there, but nonetheless, Ermac does have some sort of an ending. But yeah, this is a quick video on uh, Ermac. I just want to see if uh, he had an ending. It looks like the game is froze beyond this point, but I can do that right there. All right, so now that's out the way, I'm gonna do a quick run through with Shao Kahn. I just don't wanna do a, a quick video on just that, so. Very hard difficulty. Let's see, preferences, combo mode. Uh, why not? This is going to be a brutal beatdown of every character that I just faced and struggled with with Ermac. It took me about 30 minutes to climb up that ladder. Playing as Ermac just made them so much more difficult. All too easy. So I actually bought the uh, Sega Genesis version of this game, which was pretty cool. It's rare to come across the uh, Sega Genesis cartilage for this game, so I thought that was pretty cool. I do feel that that handles better as well. I'd like to do a playthrough once I get to where I have a capture card. I would like to do a playthrough that version of the game on the actual cartridge. That would be pretty cool. So much easier to run up the ladder with a shotgun. Fight. 
too easy. Round one. Fight. Spending so much time on this game mainly because, well, while I have not had 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 internet while I was moving, it's really the only game that I've been playing besides Metal Gear Solid Five. Fight. stomach every time. It's so fun playing with Shao Kahn, you just run over everyone. Round one. But it gets boring pretty quick. Fight. I mean, uh, a playthrough of Shao Kahn is not one that's going to have anything other than a lot of shoulder charging. If I defeat him only using low kick, no blocking, or anything like that, I should face Ermac. Hey, 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 there we go. Not impossible. Alright, 
I should face, yes. Urban. Round one. Fight! Feel the power of Shao Kahn. Round two. Fight! I like doing that because the question mark is usually like an endurance round with two different fighters you have to face and that kind of makes that easier. I might struggle with Kentaro a little bit here. Fight after this match. I'm kind of rushing this fight. You know, I could shoulder charge my way up to the whole tower, but I've not been wanting to do that. Round two. Fight. This all really depends on Kentaro's line of, of offense and his defense from me doing this. He can jump on me a few times, it can be over, and then he could not jump the entire round and I'll defeat him. Or he can keep doing that. It all really depends. You kind of have to spam and hope for the best. Round two. Fight. Yeah, it's usually a bad sign when he starts doing that. Quick way to get hurt in this match. <laughs> Close. Close. Alright. Time for a little uh, shoulder charge. You will die round one. Fight! <laughs> he got me first. Maybe I should start you off with the uh, die projectile. Two. Fight! Yeah, I should just keep going the projectile. That works. We'll die round three. Fight. It's only a perfect finish off the shell charge though, right? Feel the power of the talks of trash. Only fair. And only appropriate. So this should be a fun story. Finish him. All right, so don't want to see that. I have that Finish previous him. video. You just hit that right there. Thank you guys for joining me, and I hope you thought the Ermac ending was pretty cool. That was interesting to me. It's something I wanted to see. I had, or see myself because I haven't seen it on YouTube. I did see him on even attempt to try. Smoke to play the ladder with Ermac because he has one move. His combos actually crash the game when you play as him, so you're kind of restricted. And the AI counters everything. It's ridiculous. But anyway, which some some characters, as you'll see from the beginning of the video, are very acceptable to uh, jump kicking and you know, things like that, but. For the most part, they counter everything, and it was kind of ridiculous, so I didn't record all of that. Um, anyway, hope you guys enjoy the Shao Kahn playthrough, and I will see you soon in MKX Mobile Faction Wars video, so be looking for those. I know you guys have been, abs I've been absent from doing those for you guys for a while, so stay tuned, and I'll see you then.